Welcome back to the Ramsey Show. I'm Keegan. And I'm Mattel. And for this week's episode, we had question of the week, which is, what's your favorite dance move? Interview with Mr. Gilmer. Rams update with Cedric and Yoshi. And also, for our how-to segment, it's going to be oh so delicious with how to make crepes. Now for question of the week. What's your favorite dance move? What's your favorite dance move? My favorite dance move is a jerk. Ooh, break it down. <laughs> What's your favorite dance move and why? I'm a big fan of the stanky leg because I feel it's classic and timeless. Let's see. <laughs> Get my favorite dance move. the sweat. He's got to do it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Are you ready? My favorite dance move is clap when you want to and jump a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's your favorite dance and can you show it? Um, I guess it's probably the Bobby Smurda. <laughs> so What's your favorite dance? The break dancing move is a shoulder freeze. Can you show us? <laughs> Good looking moves, Ramsey. And now for the interview with Mr. Gilmer. We're here with Mr. Gilmer and we're going to be asking him some questions. What's up, Cooper? What do you teach here at Ramsey? I teach 8th grade global studies and I teach web, a leadership class where everybody belongs. Which sports do you coach and which sports did you play in high school? Okay, I coach soccer in the fall, in the winter I coach um, wrestling, and in the spring I coach track. In high school I was a football player, I played cornerback and running back, I wrestled at 152 pounds, and I ran track in high school. When is sports season? So sports is a big thing in spring, it starts March 23rd, okay, and we have boys baseball, co-ed track, softball for ladies, and girls batman. So get your forms in and get out of a physical from the doctor as well. And it's good for three years. What kind of expectations do you have for your athletes? Um, for my athletes, you're a student athlete first, so academics comes first. And being an um, outstanding citizen, being a global citizen is first. Then we'll work on being an athlete, but being a student first, student athlete. What mythical creature would you be if you could be a mythical creature? <laughs> I'm a Pokemon kid, grew up on Pokemon. Um, I'm more of a Charizard type of person. I love Charizard. That's my guy, all right? Well, thanks for the interview. Thank you, Coop. Thank you, Mr. Gilmer. And now for the Rams update with Cedric and Yoshi. Welcome to the Rams update. I'm Yoshi. I'm Cedric. Ramsey's boys basketball faced Parkway at their home and lost 56 to 30. Today, they play at Capitol Hill. Next topic is going to be about the Regional Science Fair, where we are talking to Mr. Howland and Jonah and get information all about that. Hey, here we are with Mr. Howland, and we're talking about the science fairs. So can you explain to us what exactly the science fair is? Yes. Well, this is the Twin Cities Regional Science Fair, where members from districts all across the metro area get to present their science projects that they did this year uh, to judges and hopefully get to move on to the Minnesota State Science Fair. And when is it? The Twin Cities Regionals is this Friday and Saturday. Friday, the students will be presenting their projects to judges. And Saturday is the awards and when we get to find out who goes on to state. Exciting. Thanks for the input. You're very welcome. All right, so this is Jonah. Jonah just got into the science fair. So can you explain to us what your science project is about? My science project is about balls of steel accelerating on a magnetic track. And you've been there before. Can you tell us what it's like going? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an enormous space at the U of M. There are a lot of students, uh, mainly uh, high schoolers, uh, who have really interesting projects. Cool. Thanks. Rock and roll. An amazing art with Miss Schultz.
Thank you, Sasha and Yoshi. Now down to the French room for. Comment faire un crêpe avec Madame Thibault? Hi, Ramsey. Today we're going to be making crepes with Madame Thibault, and we the these are the ingredients that you'll be needing. Du lait, une tasse de lait. De la vanille. Maintenant la farine. Et du sel. Voilà, une demi. At home, you can take a normal pan and you would do the same thing. Get your pan super hot, very hot, and treat it with oil just for the oily surface. And of course, at home, you would pour the batter in your pan. But here, because we are fancy, ta -da, we have a real crepe maker. And in a few seconds, this is going to be in crepe. You know it's cooked because it wants to come out. It's pepper thin. Here, we're only going to put some sugar and cinnamon. And I'm Mikel. And thank you for watching the Ramsey Show Transformers Assembly. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the Ramsey Show. I'm Keegan. And I'm Mikel. And for right. What's your favorite dance movie? Can you show us? <laughs> thank you, Cedric and Yoshi. And now, now for the how. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to go. So, Mr. Helen, what else is going on? Were you prepared? <laughs> what else is going on? <laughs> Welcome to Duran's update. I'm Yoshi. <laughs> Mr. Luce, what's pie? It is both a delicious dessert and a mathematical concept. Oh, wow, good job. Ooh, fluffy. I think it would be better if, like, Nutella. I think Nutella oh, would make yes. this even more bomb. Whipped cream. Uh -huh. No, whipped cream. And whipped cream. Oh.